Hi everyone, today I'm going to share with you the best software and process for using our Steam Deck gamepad controls in Windows so we can play anything from PC Game Pass like Call of Duty and Minecraft as well as other game clients like the EA app for FC25, Apex Legends and Battlefield. If you're new to the channel and haven't dual booted your Steam Deck with Windows before to access all of these great games I have a full step-by-step -step guide on how to achieve this in the description. And if you enjoy the content I create, please give this video a like, subscribe to the channel, comment and share with others. From our desktop, come over to your web browser and we need to access Steam Deck Tools GitHub page linked in the description. Come down to releases, click on the latest version and we want to scroll down until we find Steam Deck Tools setup.exe and download this to your downloads folder. Secondly, we need to access a download page for a driver called the VIGEM bus. Click on download and download this to your downloads folder. Once both of these files are downloaded, we want to load up Steam Deck Tools Setup first. We want to press next, I agree, and make sure that all of these are selected as shown. We want to press next and install. Once complete, we want to go ahead and press finish. Afterwards, access the VIGEM bus setup. Once loaded, we want to press next, click I agree, and next, followed by install. Once the installation is complete, we need to restart our Steam Deck and load back into Windows. Now once we're back in Windows, there's a few things I want to go over. Down at the bottom here, click on Show Hidden Icons, click on the fan with right click, and we want to disable Run on Startup. Click on it again, click on the fan, and click Exit. Now unless you want to manually control your fan, use this by all means. But here, we're going over the controller specifically. Secondly, we want to go on power control and disable run on startup. And do the same for performance overlay, disable run on startup. So I'm going to close both of these and now we will only have the Steam controller enabled. So now I have used this program for quite a long time and I have never been banned in any game just by having the controller enabled. And what we're going to do is right click and make sure that run on startup is enabled and whenever we want to use our controller in games simply come over to here and select X360 and our controller will activate like an Xbox 360 controller or Xbox One controller. Now what this will do is disable the R2 for selecting so, whenever you want to use your desktop mode again, we want to hold press on the icon, switch back to desktop. So when we first load up Black Ops 6 or Call of Duty, we're going to see this, controller disconnected. And we can easily solve this by just flicking up from the bottom right, coming over to our arrow, and choosing X360. Go back to Call of Duty and the icon will have disappeared. Now before we go into a game we want to press start, go over to settings and go to keyboard and mouse. For aiming input device we will be selected as mouse. We need to make sure this is selected as controller Otherwise, our aiming won't work in game and we'll have to come out of the game and do it again. So once that's set, press back and let's find the match. Now we're in game, we can see that our controls are working as expected. Now if you enjoyed this guide, please give me a like, subscribe to the channel, leave a comment below and share this video with others. You all have a wonderful day, look out for one another and I'll see you later.